What do we got? Some, there's some uh, JD in the house with some rye. Hey, shalom mi gente. Welcome to Bourbon Dojo. I am Blue and I'm your brown water sensei for the next few moments. Um, today uh, we have some Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof uh, rye. And this is coming in at, let's see, 128.6 proof rye. So they initially had like a, uh, a version go out in 2020, probably to you know see if the market would even want to do a barrel strength rye. Uh, market said yes. Uh, so this year they uh, are are putting out as part of their standard uh, yearly offerings, um, just like the uh, their bourbon. Uh, but this is the rye. So I did a review on my first couple videos of the bourbon. It was phenom. Uh, and uh, so now it's the rice turn. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get into this right now. Um, first thoughts and impressions, just you know, going into this is rice kind of spicy. Uh, at 128.6 proof uh, is, is my bottle. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it, I got it at a good price. This was 75 bucks. I've seen the MSRP uh, is about 65, so 10 bucks more um, here in Cali. I'm good to go to try it, uh, but I'm always kind of wondering these really high proof rise, how they're going to come out. And then I'm thinking a little bit uh, backwards a little bit on how they do uh, their filtration, right? Your reason why Tennessee whiskey so smooth, uh, they got that Lincoln County process where they do filter out a lot of the, uh, well, I don't know, a lot. They filter out um, uh, some of the different enzymes, uh, which makes it not as sharp, um, but it's, you know, Tennessee is known, their whiskeys are known to be a little bit smoother, and it is that Lincoln County filtering process. So, um, yeah, in a little bit, we're gonna make an old fashioned today, but uh, nonetheless, let's get into this. I'm I'm kind of like, huh, okay, let's see what this is all gonna, what this is all gonna be, be like. Um, just because I'm not used to such high proof rise. 112s, 115s, um, I might've had a couple in the 120s, but I don't remember it right now. Uh, so yeah, you know, first sip of the day uh, after a day in between, you know, Thanksgiving. So wish me luck, mi gente. Uh, here we go. Let's see what this uh, gives us here on the cork. Hey, brother. That's good. I'll take it. That's nice. Looks like a real cork. Okay. A little sweetness going on. A little uh, caramel sweetness going on. Let's pour this thing. Okay. Age statement on their... Uh, single barrel barrel proof rye there is none uh looking through you know and doing some research six to eight mi gente uh so you know six to eight years i'm looking at the color uh not not as dark as the last one it's still pretty dark um but not as dark as uh the uh what did i do oh the heaven's door Woo! If you haven't had seen that video yet, go ahead and check out that video with uh, with uh, Bob Dylan's Heaven's Door. Um, now that was some some dark sauce. Uh, so let's go to the nose on, on this. Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, uh, it's actually I, I'm actually getting some fruit. So fruit. Mm, I don't know if I can call it baking spice or maybe it's just maybe like one baking spice spices spice so one baking spice would be like a, a nutmeg or a clove um, I'm not it, I'm not sure it's just so smooth right uh, you get your fruit you get your caramel and a slight baking spice of your choice. Whatever your nose is doing that uh, particular day, that's probably what you're gonna get. I'm gonna tend it to be more towards 
more towards a nutmeg because cloves kind of turn me off, they're more herbal. So I'm gonna say this is more of a nutmeg uh, on this. It does, it, it's, it's, if oily can be a, a, a smell, an odor, <laughs> it smells oily. So uh, hey, cheers mi gente, let's go into the palette right now. Let's do this. 128.6. The oily, oily, um, it is fuerte. Um, it could be that day in between and it's barely, you know, 1 p.m. right now. Um, that Lincoln County process on a rye, uh, I welcomed the the filtering on their single barrel, barrel proof bourbon on this one right here, mi gente. Um, so we did this on, uh, on one of our first episodes, right? Um, it did, it smoothed things out, uh, but it kept, you know, some flavors to it, you know, that kept some of those deep, rich flavors. Um, mi gente, for the rye, uh, let me take another gander at this thing. Could be a neck pour, meaning, uh, um, hey, it's the you first open it up and you pour it, and you know you relieve the neck of the of the juice. You know, maybe I need to let it open up a little bit more, which I probably will. And when I do, I'll put it in my edits if anything has changed, because uh, I got some Christmas decorating to do. Uh, inside with the uh, wife and kids, but uh, you get the fruitiness. Um, for a barrel proof, you know, you would like to get a little bit more than a tongue hug, um, a little baking spice, AKA nutmeg and caramel. Oh, I, I get a little vanilla, um, but it's mostly warm. It's, you know, I enjoyed the different you know, aspects of the bourbon, the rye, maybe I need to get to, and I love me some rye, and it better be spicy. Maybe that's what it is. I love my spice, right? Um, I'm getting a warm tongue hug. I need more <laughs> spice. Unfortunately, that, uh, that filtering for me, for my own consumption, right? I think it took away my spice. I think it took away, you know, that tingly baking spice, that cinnamon, the, you know, just, you know, something that's gonna just, ah. Um, definitely, uh, you know, if you like Jack Daniels and you don't have this bottle in your dojo, hook that up. You're gonna want this, you're gonna wanna share with your friends and see what your friends think of the rye. They have a 100 proof rye that I do enjoy. Um, uh, where's this rye? I, ain't nothing wrong with this one, mi gente. Um, this one hits the spot, you can drink it neat, you can drink it on rocks, you can throw it in, you know, I'm assuming you can throw it in, you know, some, uh, uh, you know, some cocktails or whatnot. But this is, okay, it's 90 proof, straight rye, 90 proof. Um, yeah, all the heat all right here, uh, all the, you know, just it's, it should be what it is, 90 proofer is what it is. It is what it, was it says it is. Um, you know, gotta have it, you know, if you have to have it, grab one, 75 bucks. I don't know if I pay anything over 75 bucks. All right, Mijante. Hey, um, at some point during this, I either would have uh, cut to uh, the cocktail making of my old fashioned. If not, Mijante, um, cheers. Give me a few moments and let me get uh, my uh, old fashioned stuff out here. Hey, all right, Mijante. It's time to make an old fashioned. Um, the kind of just a very small set of rules about making your old fashions. 
Uh, brown water is necessary. You can do bourbon, you can do rye. See, people mix and match and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So today, um, we're gonna do uh, our old fashioned with a 90 proof, just bullet. 90 proof bullet, 21 bucks, mi gente. Um, if I am going to, right, um, massacre, the brown water as such, uh, may it be on a $21 bottle and not a $100 bottle. So that's kind of the way I look at it. Um, it's what I practice on, you know, with my brother Paul, uh, you know, on Thanksgiving. So this is what we're doing. So rule to make it an old fashioned, you have to have brown water. Uh, next rule is you need some kind of bitters. This is the Angostura uh, bitters. Um, you can have flavored bitters, you can have any kind of name brand, non-name brand bitters. You have to have bitters. Uh, the next thing is an orange of sorts. Uh, you can have a peel, you can have a slice, you can do whatever. Oranges are in them. Uh, I got the, the bada bang cherries, right? Bada bing, bada bing cherries. Um, uh, so, you know, you need some cherries. Uh, and then uh, I have sugar cubes. Uh, you could also do simple syrup, a teaspoon or of simple syrup I've seen, but uh, we're gonna be old fashioned, we're gonna do old fashioned. So, uh, hey, real quickly, why do they call it an old fashioned? Uh, is because this was apparently the first mixed cocktail, you know, uh, and they use whiskey um, ever, like ever and forever, you know. Um, so wherever that ever was, um, that was the first one. So uh, story goes that, you know, hey, after a while, people started doing fancier drinks, you know, shaken, not stirred type drinks, you know, whatever it is, martini, whatever they're doing, right? So they got really super fancy on their drinks. So, you know, some of the old school, uh, you know, veteranos would go back into the uh, bar and they would say, hey, I need a mixed cocktail. And they would, you know, bartenders want to make them the latest and greatest cosmopolitan or whatever. And, you know, patron would say, no, I want, I want how like we used to make it, you know, you know, like the old fashioned, right? You know, I want it old fashioned. And that's what it is. It's like telling your kids, hey, back in the day when I was a kid, right? Uh, that's exactly what this is. When I was a kid. No, I'm going to cut that part out. Um, however, uh, that's kind of the story of how did it get its name old fashioned. It apparently is the very first one and people went in and they just said, give me, give it to me like, you know, like it used to be like the good old days. Um, so first things first, uh, sugar cube. So I have your normal sugar cube looks like such. If you haven't seen a sugar cube in a while and I hadn't I probably hadn't seen a sugar cube in like maybe 20 years uh, up until Thursday so you kind of just drop that into your uh, your glass and yes I am you can have a mixing glass you can do everything in the same glass we're gonna do everything in the same glass um, so the next part is our bitters and it says two to four any anywhere you're gonna look it's gonna say two to four you know uh, uh, shakes of the bitters. They do say the ice cube needs to be soaked. So let's see one, two, three. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So it is soaked. Um, yeah, I didn't pass math. And just in case you all are going to tell me in the comments that that was six or eight, I don't know. Um, so you need a muddler. This is a muddler because now you got to kind of squish them all together, right? You know, um, so that's going to look like that, right? We're going to muddle, 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 muddle. Okay, just kind of get everything all stirred up and stuff. Okay, so muddled. Uh, the next thing we do is uh, we add our ice. I got ice right here, and I going with uh, the cube. If you want to learn how to make a cube with no white stuff, uh, air in the middle, and just want it nice and clear, clear cube, uh, all over the internet, you can find how to do that anywhere. So mi gente, my rock is sitting right in there, looking like so. Um, next is our bourbon. So. <laughs> 
Ah, this is the one that's all over the place. Some say one and a half uh, uh, ounces, some say two ounces. This looks like uh, uh, Cancun, Mexico, uh, you know, double shot of sorts. At least that's what it looks like. So you probably have to go to Cancun and get this to make a good old fashioned is pretty much what I'm thinking. Uh, so we're gonna do a, a double, a two ounce. I'm assuming that's two ounces. Uh, there we go. Right there, mi gente. Pour it right on over. Excellent. Uh, so I'm gonna do me a uh, double, double. Um, paying homage to In and Out, right? A double, double uh, on mine. Wonderful. All right. So now that that's all nice and looking looking good, uh, you need a stir. Uh, there is no better stir stick than a chopstick, right? So um, if you don't got those fancy stirrers that you see on YouTube when you're looking up how to really do this, uh, hey, you know what? I am Asian. I don't know if you you all can tell, but I do have Asian in me. I did 23 in me, and uh, yeah, I'm a little Chinese. You can get that, right? I got like. Uh, 3% of 3% of 3% uh, Chinese in me. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm so good at this. All right, good enough right there, mi gente. Uh, you could either just do an orange uh, uh, slice. You can just do the rind, you know, just get yourself a little line, squeeze it, whatever. Uh, I'm a man's and I just got me a double double. So double double old fashioned. So I'm just gonna just do a little bit in there. I'm just gonna stick the whole dang thing in there, just like that. Uh, the last thing in what you do need, uh, as manly as, you know, as I am, I need myself a cherry. They're so sweet and they're like delish. Uh, so let me stab myself a, a, a cherry right here. And uh, here we go. All right, um, put that right there and voila. Mi gente, just uh, look at that. Look at that. Tell me that isn't the most delish, crushable, old fashioned you've ever seen. Yeah, mi gente, I kind of like, like that. I'm gonna pose that. Cheers. Um, hey, yeah, so let's try this thing, man. This is a uh, crystal clear cube in there. I don't know if you saw that or not. It looks great, it looks delish. It's D to the lish. I don't know, what I don't know, it, do I put my finger out because this is a sip and drink? Uh, do I keep it, you know, with a, a, a man's hand? Uh, not sure, but let's do this, let's see. Yeah. It's sweet. My teeths are tingling. Um, <clears throat> hey, nonetheless, mi gente, uh, this is a crowd favorite for your bourbon uh, whiskey non-drinkers that want to share in the experience with you, right? You know, they want to have a cocktail in their hands as you're, you know, drinking your uh, C923 neat. Um, they want to have something you can, you know, have bullet, you can have any, you know, any you know, lower level, bottom shelf uh, uh, bourbon whiskey, that would be just fine and work just great. Um, <clears throat> so there you go, mi gente, this is an old fashioned. So, hmm. I think I'm just gonna sign us out right now, <clears throat> not go back to the other video. Um, hey, it's the holidays, mi gente. Go love on somebody. Cheers. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> the, the added sugar and the uh, the fruit cocktail. Yeah. Dangerous. Alright, man. Thanks, love. Peace.